A very good day to all of you. Welcome back to the Editorial Analysis and the Daily Answer Writing Initiative at 9. This is Vilasni from Officers IS Academy and friends, those of you who are watching the video for the first time, please take out a look at the first video of this very playlist to know how to take part in the Answer Writing Initiative. So the topic of discussion for today is coral bleaching and this is based on multiple articles and reports in the news. So as per a recent report, around 77% of the world's coral reefs ranging from the Pacific to the Atlantic Ocean are suffering from massive coral bleaching events and this is primarily attributed to increased heat stress fueled by growing climate change. So this brings us to the question, what are coral reefs? So let me tell you a few interesting facts. Occupying less than 1% of the sea floor, coral reefs host more than 25% of all known marine species and indeed this earns them the nickname tropical rainforest of the sea. And it is true, coral reefs host more amount of animal phyla than a tropical rainforest. So let us talk about coral reefs. Coral reefs are calcium carbonate structures. They represent a symbiotic mutualistic relationship between two organisms, the coral polyps and the zooxanthellae. So because mutualism is a type of biotic interaction in which two interacting organisms benefit each other in the context of coral reefs, the coral polyps provide shelter to the zooxanthellae. On the other hand, the zooxanthellae being an algae is able to perform photosynthesis and provides energy to the corals. Apart from that, the zooxanthellae is also known to provide colored pigments to the corals. And it is this colored pigments which also protect the skeleton of the corals from the harsh radiations of the sun. Now that we have discussed this, let us understand the significance of coral reefs. So yes, coral reefs are foundational species. Foundational species refer to those species which play a major role in structuring the community. They lay the foundation of the ecosystem. Several food chains and food webs are dependent on them. Apart from that, corals are also indicator species. By indicators, they are species which determine the health of the ecosystem. You will not find corals in polluted environments. Apart from that, coral reefs are also excellent nature-based solutions because they protect the coastal shoreline from incoming storms and also from coastal erosion. Apart from that, coral reefs also support the fishery sector and they also are major places for the tourism sector to flourish. So now that we have understood this, let us discuss about coral bleaching. So what is coral bleaching? So friends, due to certain abiotic stresses in the environment, for example, increased temperature, sudden changes in pH or salinity, what happens is that the corals start to eject the zooxanthellae out. Now that the zooxanthellae have left, the colored pigments also disappear and the coral goes back to a whitish color and tends to become bleached. So this phenomenon is called as coral bleaching and it is increasing worldwide due to increasing climate change. So yes, talking about coral bleaching, it is a temporary phenomenon in case the conditions are restored back. For example, the abiotic stresses become reduced, it is possible for the corals to once again regain and flourish. But on the other hand, if the bleaching events continue for a significantly long period of time, it can also result in the death of the coral. So now that we have understood what coral bleaching is, let us understand why do coral bleaching events take place. The first major culprit is climate change. Yes, we live in a warming world. So now with temperatures increasing, episodes of marine heat waves are also on the rise. Sudden changes in temperatures are triggering coral bleaching events. Apart from this, ocean acidification is also to blame. Increased carbon dioxide emissions also means that oceans are going to uptake more amount of carbon dioxide. When this happens, there is a reduction in pH levels, making the oceans more and more acidic. And this affects the calcification process of coral reefs. Apart from this, increased pollution, Harmful practices like bottom trawling, overfishing, 
increased sedimentation, coastal developmental projects are all to blame. So yes, all these are the primary factors for increasing coral bleaching events. So now that coral bleaching events are increasing, what are the ramifications? Yes, the natural functions that coral reefs used to perform, for example, protection of shorelines will now be affected. The fishery sector will be affected. The livelihood of many people will be affected. Biodiversity laws will also take place. So now, what are few things that we can do to ensure that coral reefs are better protected and preserved? So yes, there is a need for creating more amount of marine protected areas. Apart from that, it is time to start shifting to renewables and it is also time to lower down our carbon dioxide emissions. Apart from that, new technologies like Biorock technology have come into play, which can also be utilized effectively to ensure that coral reefs are protected. Next, the participation of local communities can be ushered to ensure that proper reef management is done. And yes, tourism also needs to be sustainable. That could also be an effective way forward. Corals offer a wide range of ecosystem services and therefore it is our moral responsibility to ensure that they are preserved. So therefore, all stakeholders need to participate to ensure that better monitoring practices and effective management of coral reefs is promoted. So friends, I hope this topic was useful. And now let us take a look at the question for today. Mass bleaching events pose a significant threat to the health of coral reefs globally. Analyze the importance of coral reefs and suggest strategies to address the issue of coral bleaching effectively. So friends, this is a 15 mark question, meaning you'll have to write this answer for 250 words. Take part in this initiative, keep enriching your knowledge and all the very best. Thank you.